I am an FBI agent. I love that line. Let's talk about Point Break next. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick, and this is the channel where I talk about movies, music, television. I love entertainment. I love sharing it with you guys. We bring back some things that we haven't seen in a while, or we check out some new things. It just depends on what the subject matter is on a given day. And today we are talking about Point Break starring Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. And the reason why I stress up front that we're talking about the version with Patrick and Keanu, I'm talking about a guilty pleasure movie for me, the 1991 movie, not that 2015 remake. We don't talk about that around here. We're talking about the classic version. Let's get to it. Now, Point Break is an American crime action film, and it was directed by Catherine Bigelow, whom anybody who's seen The Hurt Locker, you should be familiar with. In addition to Swayze and Reeves, it also stars Lori Petty and Gary Busey, and the film's title refers to the surfing term Point Break, where a wave breaks as it hits a point of land outside the coastline. And yes, like you saw in the opening here, the film features Reeves as an undercover FBI agent who is tasked with investigating the identities of a group of bank robbers while he develops a complex relationship with the group's leader, which is Swayze. One of the things I love about Keanu Reeves' character's name, Johnny Utah, that is a classic name for a movie character. Johnny Utah. Nice. Now, these bank robbers, uh, they dress as ex-presidents when they are completing their bank robberies. This film was produced by Largo Entertainment. It was distributed by 20th Century Fox, and it came out in July of 91 with a running time of 122 minutes. Its initial budget was $24 million which is very moderate, especially, you know, for today's movie standards. This movie, however, gained $103 million at the box office. Nice little chunk of change for a profit there. Now, without giving too much of the film away, for those of you who may not have seen it, the relationship between Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze does get complicated. Yes, he infiltrates the group, but he also comes to understand some of their motivations and they form a kinship, so to speak. That complicates Reeves' job and it gets in the way when it comes time to bring this gang down. I always like the ending of this movie don't want to give that away to you guys, but how he brings him down, how it ends, it's fitting for both characters. One of the things that I love about this movie is the extremes that these guys go to. Not just surfing, skydiving as well. You feel it. They get a rush off of this kind of thing. Now, look, I'm not saying go out and rob any banks, but we all have this thing in us that we've always wanted to do or we get a rush from. So it's easy to identify with these guys. Now, when this film was in pre-production, a lot of other people besides Keanu Reeves were in the running for the role, namely Matthew Broderick, Johnny Depp, Val Kilmer, and Charlie Sheen. And also, Ridley Scott was attached as the initial director. It did fall eventually to Catherine Bigelow, who at that time was married to producer James Cameron, and I think she did a wonderful job directing this movie. 
This film does have a Rotten Tomato score of 71% with an average rating of 6.2 out of 10. Now, to me, I would hold that rating a little bit higher. This is one of my guilty pleasure movies. And, and I would say out of five stars, I give this four stars. I really like it. It's not a perfect movie. There are very few perfect movies, but this is one, the reason why I say guilty pleasure, if I'm channel surfing and I see it, I'm going to stop on it. Damn good movie. So I would put it right up there with the uh, Colin Farrell, Jamie Foxx, Miami Vice, definitely The Empire Strikes Back, number one on my list, by the way, along with Roadhouse, another guilty pleasure movie that's about to be remade speaking of did you go in for the 2015 remake of this movie or do you prefer the original point break like me let me know what you think let me know how you feel about this movie let me know your favorite patrick swayze movie and your favorite keanu reeves movie leave me a comment like share subscribe I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so, so much for watching, and I will be back soon. Until then, stay positive, stay blessed. Hey guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that button right there. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. You'll never miss an episode. And speaking of episodes, I got plenty more. You hit that button right there. Again, thank you so, so much. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I'll see you soon.